It's time for the tiny trainer battle. Go around that. Around. Join here, guys. And today we're talking about the tiny trainer by 533. Check this thing out. This is the tiny racing setup that you can build for yourself that has one of the most creative designs of any craft that we've seen in a number of years. Yes, I am a little bit late to the party. This thing's been out for about a year already. And one of the reasons why I didn't jump on board sooner was because I've been a long time racer of things of this size and my favorite of all time that was very light was the Diatome Cube 339 three inch. And I thought, this thing with all of the extra accoutrements on there, the LED setup, the heavier, beefier uh, middle plates, the TPU printed accessories was going to make it a little bit too heavy and I didn't really see the point. And boy, was I a little bit wrong. It does happen on occasion, guys. Um, and I'm going to tell you exactly why this thing is a fantastic flyer for your yard or a park or to actually enter tiny trainer racing spec event. Now, of course, Evan Turner, the current champion of the drone racing league on television, um, races with those spec racers on the, the drone racer four, which is a very, very large quad. Now you don't always have the opportunity to be able to train in the off season with the quad that large and expensive and heavy. So he wanted something that would approximate the same feel as that and allow him to train. Hence the tiny trainer. All right, here is the racer four. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Oh yeah, yeah, tiny trainer for scale. Oh yeah, for scale. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is huge. These are bigger than I thought. Yeah, I mean, look wow. at the prop itself. Look at the tiny trainer, like kind of fits. In the, prop. Yeah, the tiny trainer is the same size as the prop. It's a five cell 2300 ma, but it's like these tiny thin cells, and then it pops in literally just like the tiny trainer. You just get it on the back and then pop it in, and then like. You're a tiny trainer, and then you do the exact same thing where it just slides right in. So, so you really get the DRL feel, of, like, yeah, oh so man, cool. so awesome. Does this, have all this is a 1404 4533 KV motor, and it's like a tiny version of the big heads up motor that I have on this prototype. Uh, switchback HD. This isn't about getting you the fastest three inch experience possible. It's about getting a three inch flight experience that approximates a much bigger, larger racing quad in order for you to be able to train those lines. And it also gives you the full LED experience like you do on the show. Sometimes with these things this small, it's kind of hard to see it. And by putting those LEDs on there man it's just a really cool scene to see so let's go through the build um the spec build uses a beta fpv all in one board but you can also use the flywood which i have here the nice thing about both of those boards is they have the usb on the bottom so it's very accessible on there um, the frame crit, if you print your own parts, if you are a 3D printer, only costs like 28 or 29 bucks. So it's super inexpensive. You can also pay a little bit more and get the printed parts for you. I'm running the Phoenix 2 Nano, which is one of the best image cameras out there on the market. Of course, I'm using the tiny Turner motors on here with the heads up three inch prop. Um, for the video system, I'm using the Team Black Sheep Pro Nano 32, the standard for drone racing of any size craft, and I'm using Express LRS. This thing flies faster and better than I thought it would on 3S, and it's perfect for park or yard flying. It keeps the weight very, very low. If you are going to try to race it hard, though, I suggest getting a 550 Tattoo HV battery or something around that same size to give you that extra juice to be able to stay in the air pushing super hard for two, two and a half minutes. And man, this thing is fast. The spec racing, when you're both flying one of these, you're both at the same weight, you both have the LEDs of different color, everyone's watching you. Man, it's just so thrilling. So I can go into the OSD the same way I would change my VTX channel, I can change my LED color. So um, when we were racing together, we're coordinated like I'll go blue, you go purple, you go green, and then you can just see everyone through the air the same way they do on the drone racing league. 
It offers a tremendous amount of motor protection. Is this for beginners? Um, flying it, absolutely. If you can get someone to build one for you, there is a lot of very, very tiny soldering on here. So if you're not an experienced builder, this is definitely for advanced building skills. You know, a lot of drone frames are just like a slight variation of each other. This is something unique. This is something fun. This is something that people that are not into drones can see flying in the air with the LEDs. It's time for the tiny trainer battle. Go around that, around. Tiny trainer series. Here we go, check this out. Night for tiny trainer series. Check this Same out, coming. check this out. No, now it's uh, All right, this is the Mr. Commentator right here. All right. Davis Place, nice spot ambassador right here commenting. We, we got a we good got a one tiny here. tiny trainer race. We got uh, Andy Klundog right here, professional pilot, owner of the famous Andy's place. Uh, you know, questionable. I think we own it already. You know. Yeah, and, no. It's... And, and Andy just happened to live there. <laughs> yeah, no, it belongs to Ivan and Neil. Uh, yeah. I just live on property to watch the track. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. We and we appreciate it. Yeah. And this is a famous YouTube star, Johnny Five, with uh, six thousand subscribers. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's get this going. Right. Yeah, change it. Let me make it red or something. Yeah, yeah, Look at this. It's fancy. You're gonna change the lights. All right, pilot. Here we go. Arm your claws. We go racing at the sound of my toe. Got cool dog in the coming around the crazy start. Here we go. First gate now. Johnny right behind us. They're going. Clone dog is still ahead. One gate separation. Here we go. Swallow up high reverse split at this time. Oh, my battery's hurting. There we go. Coming around the top right here. Going over the big tree. Clone dog through the tunnel. Johnny through the tunnel. Split as split as coming around the gap right here. Matt Boots right there coming around. Who's gonna be the first one to the start gate? We just see purple light blinking. Clone Dog Johnny making the first one. lap. Johnny 5 1. Here we go. Andy with a lead. This is our winner. So far, the winner, the leader of the of the race. His battery's dead. Right, it's just his excuses. Hey, oh, we he hit a. We had a small bobble. You cannot blame a battery if you hit Andy, the ceiling. Andy, tunnel right there. <laughs> the tunnel for Andy. I multiple things to play. Here we go. All right, about two gate separation, maybe three. Yeah. Clone dog with a solid lead, finishing lap number two. Two for Andy. And Coming let's around, see, this Andy. is uh, Mr. NBA, Johnny Five, on lap number three as well. Let's see if Andy can make a mistake. Or no, it's just not possible. And he's locked in. He's in the zone. He's on a mission. He has a wreck. Oh, oh and he's wrecked. No, he just wrecked. Johnny Five taking the lead. <laughs> you're not hearing him say he's just wrecked. Johnny Five takes the lead now. Tunnel, tunnel. And he's got Oh, and he's still up in the air. Johnny's trying to take it easy. And he's losing Let's see who finishes lap three. Mess up what do you think about this race? What size battery did he have? Andy. Much bigger than yours, obviously. Yeah, this is the winner. <laughs> oh, Zoom doesn't really start. work good. All right, so you got one ace. Take off fast. And look at that. This is a walk of shame right there. It's pretty far. Let's see if he can find his drone. Here, Derek comes to, to help him find the drone. Oh, that's pretty good. Let's see. All right, he got, he got it. it. He got it. I think so, batteries are not good enough. Yeah. My battery let me down. Tattoo. Thanks again, Tattoo. First, my 1400 died. Why well, killed it? I guess that's not it. That was pretty fun. Yeah, it was this fun to watch. This is a nice little yeah. racing tool. And with the LEDs, it's really nice to watch too. 